Do you dream of launching your own app? I will show you how easily and how quickly you can create apps in 2025. JavaScript and React are all you need to know and care about to launch successful products. And finally, start earning money online. You need to provide value to the market. There is no secret formula. It's the best possible time. Today, everything is already implemented. Every problem has a library that solves it. All you need to do is to glue elements together to build the service you want. Uh, with AI, it's uh, even simpler, but it's also easy to get lost. I have packed all the non-negotiables for a web app foundation into one code base, which I will share with the first 100 emails I received on my website for free. Just visit nextboilerplateai.com and leave me your email. And I will personally send to you the complete boilerplate. Anyway, let me explain how I solved API implementation so that I can create products one after another. I aim for standardization, flexibility, and primarily speed. Uh, to have your data uh, created, updated, and displayed, all you need to do is decide what properties your object should have and what its name should be. And yeah, that's it. That's the biggest advantage of boilerplating. Let me prove my words now. With Apollo GraphQL, enhanced by a couple of powerful plugins, I literally go to the models directory, copy an existing model. Uh, let's say I want to uh, store cars in my app. I rename user to car and define the properties I want, such as manufacturer, color, and model. Then uh, I included in my server declaration. Now I regenerate the code with a command npm run GraphQL. But I need to have my project uh, running. Okay, it's running and now I generate the code. And that's it. I have dedicated React hooks generated, which I can use for displaying, creating, updating, and deleting data. Let me show you how it works now. I will create a car page. If I want to list my cars, I use car many query. I want also to be able to create a car, so I use use car create one mutation. I want to be able to update a car, so I want use car update by ID mutation. And I want to be able to remove a car, so I will call use car remove by ID notation. Okay, the hooks are correctly auto-generated and they are imported in my page. Now, I need to create the UI for that. That's not the goal of this video, so I will just ask AI to do it for me. This is my workflow, which knows the code base. The main advantage of using it over other LLMs is that it always constructs the right context for my prompt. It knows the entire code base, it includes dedicated prompts for Next.js, which are valid for this boilerplate. That's the primary benefit. And it decides which files uh, I need to uh, include in my prompt. I will show you now. And I have a, a separate video on that. Check it out. Please create in car page TSX a car list page uh, with the ability to create list update and remove cars also implement refetching of the car many query on on 
any successful mutation. Just to have the latest list always visible. It needs to be bare minimum. Super simple UI. I'm pretty sure this will work. In the meantime, I can show you the GraphQL schema with all the operations. If you go to the query, you see uh, the list of queries and mutations. So, for example, for the car, you see how many queries are generated for this new model. And you can explore the documentation and see what operations are available for you. Okay, I have my result. Let's write the file and test it out. This is my current, uh, my feature page. Let's uh, change it to display the car page now. So I go to the um, car, my feature page, and I will just point to the car page. Okay, let's see what we got. Loading cars. Uh, looks like a table um, which stores cars. Let's uh, try adding new cars. Um, let's say uh, I want a Mustang, which is uh, red. And of course it's a uh, Ford. So let's try to create a car looks like it is successful. Let's uh, try to add a new car. Let's say I want a Porsche. Let's say uh, it's uh, black. And uh, oh, let's say Porsche is actually a manufacturer. Never mind. I will want a Panamera. Create. Brilliant. Let's check if data is persisted. It is persisted. Let's try to modify the data. Let's say my Mustang is now yellow. It is yellow. Let's now try to remove it. It is now removed. And that's it. These are front-end implementations. Keep in mind that the only action I needed to take to have a car API was defining its shape and name. Backend developers not needed anymore, huh? I will leave this question unanswered. If you want to build apps with this speed and claim this boilerplate for free, hurry up, go to my page and leave your email. Very few spots left. Please let me know what do you think of this approach. And what do you consider the most important thing when building a new web app and searching for the perfect boilerplate? And that's it for today. Please subscribe for more videos like this where I show you how I build apps with insane speed.